What's up guys, guys? Your boy here, Ryan. Ryan Beats. How's everybody doing? So today we are prepping for a job. Uh, we have a one color job, but we're, we are doing a color change. All right, so for the design, here's the artwork. We're gonna be printing this on a black shirt with a white print and vice versa, a white shirt and a black print. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna print this on a 110. We got a 110 screen. I did print out a small one for like a left chest, you know, just in case they decide they wanna do it. I'm gonna print that on the bottom of the screen. So let's go get the 110. All right, since we're still having issues with the exposure in it, that's how I have to do it. I can't use the lid, so it is what it is. Cool, that's done already. All right, looks good. We're gonna lay it out here in the sun. Shush, dog. What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? Ow. There you go, let the sun do its thing. Where'd you go? What you doing? What you doing? Hmm? What you doing? What you doing? All right, we're gonna let that thing dry up and cure and we'll come back to it. All right, guys, we are back. Um, here's the screen, it's nice and warm. <laughs> let's go ahead and hook it up. We're going to put it on, let's see, we're gonna put it on head number one here. We'll line it up. Then get everything all centered. All right, everything's taped up. I got my my bar already installed. Let's go ahead and do a test print. All right, looks good. There it is, one pass. Uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, on the shirts, we're going to do our flattening screen, which is the one that we made a couple days ago. And get that set up. And yeah, we're ready to go. All right, let's do a test on the uh, flattening screen. Let's put that in there real quick. Okay, this is how it looks like. You guys can see it. Let's go into the flattening screen. Definitely much matted down. That's the same area. Let's put a top coat. That looks good. Okay, so here's the test. Uh, with the matting screen, it actually looks pretty good. All right, so here is the black. The white print looking good. So the black ones are done. Let's put a test pal on there. Let's go. Uh, all right, now let's do a color change. We're gonna change this color to um, black. All right. All 
All right, we got it all switched out with the black. Let's go do our test print. Make sure everything is clear and it's all black. There you go, it looks good, it's all black. Oh man, it got super hot. I had to take the hat off. But that's it guys. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, the white print or the white shirt. Let me get my motion light going. Hello. Hello motion light. There you go. So here it is. Here is the white shirt with the black print. Turned out really, really nice. I did hook him up with a hoodie, which is <laughs> kind of dope. Look at this hoodie. Dang. Pretty dope. Anyways guys, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this pretty simple project. We did um, one color front, but we did a, uh, a color change, so it's pretty simple. As you guys noticed, I did not use the smash screen that we made the other day. Um, I tried it on the black shirts with the white ink. I did it for, I don't know, I think like five or six shirts. It looked the same if I would have done it with just a print, flash print. So I went ahead and skipped that step and just went ahead with a print flash print and it turned out really nice. So um, sometimes you don't need it, right? So don't use it. Anyways, guys, that's it. Um, I'm gonna give you guys more of an update on my exposure unit there. Um, I, I have been talking to Ryanet and we're trying to figure out a solution here. And I think we got a solution, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah, so I got like maybe a couple more projects that I have to do or have to print. Then after that, we're gonna shut down the shop because, you know, like I said, we are moving. And yeah, that's it. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.